Weird Cat's lore has plenty of characteristics. Gatherings, Border Patrols, Star Clan. Some of these exist for plot convenience, others to create conflict or make the world more interesting. But there is one thing, one plot point, that does none of that. And throughout its entire existence, it has spent 99% of its time being a detriment to storytelling in the Warrior Cats universe. This is the fact that leaders get nine lives from StarClan. In the first book, it's a cute nod to the age-old myth of cats having nine lives. But once this novelty wears off, all you have left is the fact that nine is way too large a number for this sort of thing. In my opinion, Blue Star is the only character to pull off having nine lives in a way that contributes nicely to the story. And that's because she starts off with only three of them left. Two of her lives are lost early in the arc to set in the fear that her final death is imminent, and her final life isn't lost until book five, which very nicely drags out the tension across three entire books. Three lives just worked. But you could only have that with already existing leaders. So when new leaders are introduced and given the big nine, we start to have issues. Nightstar. They had to introduce a wacky excuse in order to prevent him from having nine total lives in order to have him killed off. Tigerstar. They had to introduce a wacky excuse in order to prevent him from having nine total lives in order to have him killed off. Firestar. Oh, Firestar. He actually does get his nine lives, but at the cost of reducing tension in the final battle. It's hard to really feel like he's on the edge of death when he has revived mid-battle and still has eight lives left. And Firestar in the next three arcs gets even more awkward, because he dies at the drop of a hat. Eight is still a large number of times to kill a character, so they just keep doing it, over and over again. A tree hits him, a rat kills him, green cough, of course, a fox, russet fur, and even then, only seven of his nine lives were explicitly described to have happened in the books. With the main character Firestar, with so many forced deaths, nine was still too many. So what about every other leader ever? Do they get cool stories about them losing lives? No, of course not. Not a single cat has all nine of their lives be major plot events. There simply isn't enough book time for that sort of thing to happen. Leaders are lucky to have one of their lives be casually mentioned, let alone elaborated on. What happens with cats like Misty Star or One Star is that we'll hardly ever hear of them losing lives, and then all of a sudden, they're on their last life. They may as well have never been given lives. It's such a worthless plot point that they even exist. The whole point of leaders having extra lives is that they can be assured long and strong reigns as leader, but even with nine lives, these cats hardly live longer than their fellow warriors with only a single life. Firestar went out before Graystripe, Sandstorm, and Dustpelt. Mousefur lived through all of Blue Star's nine lives and almost all of Firestar's nine lives. And Sunstar? What the heck happened to Sunstar? This dude got time skipped out of existence. He lived through nine entire lives before Bluefur could even grow old. And this issue continues to today. Bramble Star, Tiger Star, and Hare Star all still have eight lives left, as far as we know, while Misty Star and Leaf Star are unknown. But I promise you, they will both magically have a single life left the moment they're needed for the story. Misty Star sooner rather than later. I'm writing and recording this video before reading the new book, by the way. In terms of real life years, Bramble Star has been leader for 10 years compared to Fire Star's eight and he still has eight lives. I guarantee you, they're gonna find a wacky excuse to expedite those other eight lives whenever the writers decide they want their Bramble Star drama. There's simply no natural way to work nine deaths of a single character into a plot. Either you rush them or you skip them, and both are not that great. Which is why I propose that in a Starless Clan, the leaders of Thunder Shadow Wind Sky Clan are forced to give up their extra lives in order to make River Clan stop being starless, or whatever the plot is. I'm writing this video Sunday and reading the book Tuesday. But yeah, come on, writing team, do it. 
And speaking of Starless Clan, I'll have a video on that first book next week. Alright, bye everyone!